Tonight, the community is mourning a local activist who was killed abroad. Family tells us 50-year-old Tu Zhu Zhang was spending the holidays in Colombia when he was kidnapped and murdered. Bafua Yang is here now with us with what we know about Zhang's death and how he's being remembered. Just devastating for this family. Yeah, just a sad, sad story. Now, there's been outpouring support after the news of his death, and his brother tells me Tujer often goes on trips to Colombia and that they're working with law enforcement to piece together what happened. A beaming smile and contagious laugh. Again, we talked to Tujer Zhang when he helped organize Hmong Minnesota Day at the 2018 State Fair. Why did the Hmong people come from the hot tropical jungles of Laos to Minnesota? Ice fishing brought us here. So now we call Minnesota our home. He was a comedian, motivational speaker, educator, and activist. The 50-year-old dedicated his entire life to serving others. He would drive from here to Wisconsin, to Milwaukee, to Madison, to help people, right? On his own expense. He, he does that kind of stuff. A pillar to the Hmong community, cut too short. A Zhang says his brother called Sunday night asking for $2,000 while on a trip in Colombia. Tujer never confirmed if he got the money. Hours of silence led A to get in touch with Tujer's friend in Colombia who filed a police report. On Monday, A says authorities found his brother's body. They found some clothes with blood, you know, on the bag, and they were able to uh, confiscate that and apprehend the, one of the suspect. A says police confirmed Tujer was held captive by a group who demanded money for his release and then murdered him. It's kind of funny how I don't even feel like he's really gone yet, right? I, I feel, I almost feel like at any moment now he could be knocking the door. And as the family navigates life without their dear brother. And so that's a picture of Tujer. It's memories of love and laughter that will carry them through their sorrows. Now, in a statement, U.S. Senator Tina Smith gave her condolences to the family, saying they're working with the State Department to ensure Tudor's remains are safely transported back. And the family tells me they're also hoping to launch a foundation in his memory. What a loss. Well, and I think a lot of us recognize Tudor from the State Fair. Yeah. Among Americans. Just days. when we saw that clip. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I got a chance to meet him. He's just a ball of energy. So, oh. so sad for the community. Oh, you could tell his smile was beautiful. Wow. Thanks. What a loss.